Hi everybody, Greeny Man here again. We're in the front of the barn this time. Um, we're into what October, mid October now. We've had a lot of rain and storms recently, so very unpredictable weather. Uh, the Citroen Zara, which is my daily driver car that I've got, it's quite old. Was it 2001? Um, it's been a good car, but the other day I started getting this horrible screeching sound coming from somewhere near the gearbox. Uh, and then it over 48 hours got worse to be constantly coming from somewhere near the gearbox but got louder when I pressed the clutch pedal so I'm thinking that maybe the thrust bearing or something's gone uh, on the clutch which means of course that you've got to take the gearbox out to fit a new clutch because if you're going to fit a new bearing while you're doing the job you might as well put a clutch plate and pressure plate in not done one before, but uh, spoke to a few of my buddies. Think I can uh, perhaps have a go at it. But of course, to do that, it's necessary to support the engine when you take the gearbox out because it's front-wheel drive. So I ended up getting a two-ton well, engine crane, engine hoist. Uh, arm hoist, hydraulic ram arm hoist, whatever you want to call it. Um, shopped around a bit, looked on the internet and I've managed to get one delivered for about 183 euros or something like this. I think it was 160 something plus delivery. Which is pretty good considering it uh, arrived in two days from Germany. A company called Wiltech, uh, DE in Germany. They do a lot of I did a video about some ramps that I got from there, really good quality ramps, really reasonable price delivered. Uh, this, is the, this is the crane, this is the lift, so it comes in four boxes, fairly heavy boxes. I think the total weight of the crane built is about 82 kilos, but it folds away uh, so you can manoeuvre it on a small footprint and then the legs fold out when you want to use it. So it's a double pump hydraulic cylinder as opposed to a single, and uh, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to come back to you in a bit when we've unboxed it and start looking at building it up. So quite exciting, but I've got to do this in order to try and fix the car. So of course there'll be a video coming up on that and how much of a mess I can make of doing that job. All right then, see you in a bit. Okay, so we've unboxed it now. I don't know if anybody can tell me in the comments below why are most of these hoists and cranes on the internet red? I don't know. I don't know why they're in red. Must be is it a cheap paint or something? I don't know. But uh, they're the two legs. That's the upright section where the that ram goes to. That's obviously the, uh, the top arm, lifting arm. A piece that you can adjust different weights, and that's the bottom section um, which everything bolts to the frame. And the welding looks quite good. I know on the internet some people say that it's very poor welding, but it's, this is all very, very solid welding to me, unless they've patched it very well. I don't know. And the wheels are uh, a cast wheel. how good the bearings are on them. Time will tell I suppose on those but uh, good solid wheels. Not really much chance of them cracking if they're cast. Again time will tell. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and build it up. There's uh, some pins, a piece of chain, some pins for changing the, the arm position I imagine. There's the hook and a chain. Lots of nice bolts. Nuts and washers. Some good instructions which I'm hoping are going to be in English and not German. Although it can't be too complicated. No, I think they're in German. So they might not be any use to me. But, um, cylinder 
8 ton capacity long ram jack. It's all, it's all heavy enough anyway. It feels very substantial. Um, so we'll have a go at putting it together and see. Let's see how we get on.
um, one gram, one ton, and 0.5 tons. I can't remember the reach on it, um, or the lift on it, sorry, I think it's around two meters high lift, um, maximum, so that would be on probably 0.5 ton. Um, it's a double pump cylinder, so it pumps, it moves on both rise and fall. Comes with this substantial chain, spring clip on the hook, and then obviously the idea is you pull these pins, sorry, these pins, and then that hinges on the back pin, and the legs then lift up. So then you're storing it on just this small footprint here, the four casters at the back. Which make it quite a neat tidy thing, you can drop the arm down obviously to um, alongside the parallel to the ram. So it all becomes quite a small footprint of a, of a space. It's a heavy thing though, I think it's, it's, I said it was 80 something kilos. It's substantial. Um, and I, I don't see any problems with these welds, they're all, they've either filled them or if you can see, the, they're all good welds, as far as I can see. Um, no problems there. Like I say, this was from this company, um, Wiltec, in Germany. So I don't know if they're actually made in Germany, these, or not. But it all, it all is... You know, all, all been done to a good standard, I think, anyway. Um, compared to some of the ones that perhaps weren't made in Europe. They all look good worlds, you know. Anyway, so time will tell. We'll see how it goes and see if it's actually useful for the job. The reason I got it is obviously it can be used for a variety of things. I know you can just put a beam across the wings and, and support the engine that way but I thought well at least using this um, I can lift things in and out of the van and uh, transport stuff that's perhaps a bit heavy to lift in on my own it was a job as you can see it took about 30 minutes or so 45 minutes maybe um, it'd be easy with two people but it's not certainly not a difficult job to do on your own the hardest part was fastening that to the base with all that weight sort of at an angle and getting the bolts through but once you've done that everything else seemed to go together okay um, so it's a bit sunny now I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's uh, Use the rubbish at the back of the barn on my junk. So we'll see if it does the job. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment please below. Um, like I say, why are they always red these things? Um, like I say, 183, 184 euros, I think it was delivered in sort of two or three days delivery. I don't think, you know. I don't think that can be beat in, in, in sort of value. It seems very good, very good. All right, guys, take care, and uh, I'll see you again on another video. Bye for now. Incidentally, I did say I think it lifted to about two meters, um, just to try and get an idea of proportion. This is in the 0.5 meter setting on the arm uh, sorry about this is looking really weird I'm, I'm about 1.8 meters height and my arm is stretched right up and I'm just touching the, the bottom of the hook with my fingers so like I say I'm 1.8 meters and that's on maximum so you've got I don't know however long that arm is there Maybe another, maybe it's up to two and a half meters or something like that, 2.3 meters. So it's a lot bigger than I thought it was.
obviously if you want to lift heavier items um, you'd have to have it on the shorter reach and it wouldn't go as high and if you wanted to lift anything a little bit higher I suppose you could take that chain off and put just a fixed hook on or put a sling around the, the, the arm or something so anyway that's just uh, a bit of an indication as to how high it goes alright guys